one. I mean, I've had a, I've had a number of people that have, that have partnered with um, over the last 16 years. Um, the first one was the only one who would give me money, um, which was my dad, and he didn't really want to. Um, so, but that was, I guess, the, the first partner I had. And then, and then I've had partners like, you know, McDonald's. And uh, you say that so quietly, I'm sort of joking. Okay, <laughs> it's an odd one. Uh, it was an odd one to a lot of people, but um, I think it was good in a lot of ways. Um, but it's over. That's ended. Um, and and. Um, since that ended, um, there's been some repartnering and, 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 and building the team. And you, and you mentioned uh, someone who I've known for, for many, many years, and that's Monty Moran, who I just recently appointed co-CEO. And, and he's a great partner, first of all, because he's a, a great friend. And um, um, we really have a great relationship and trust each other and, and work very well together. Um, and we complement each other, um, for sure. Uh, Monty's been um, involved, though, with Chipotle since, since the very beginning. I mean, he, he claims to have eaten the very first burrito that I made before I opened um, uh, Chipotle. So, so but recently, um, you know, after the McDonald's split off, uh, uh, he came in as, as, as president and chief operating officer. And, and really what I wanted to do was start to, to build the team and bring on uh, uh, partners who, who would not think like traditional uh, fast food people. Um, McDonald's helped us grow um, quickly, for sure, um, but with that came some typical thinking, some bureaucracy, and things like that. And so um, we have a, a, a really new way of, of thinking about leadership and uh, running the restaurants. And, uh, and I think that's, it's very, very evident in, in, in what a customer sees now when they go into a Chipotle. But they're always